What's going on guys? All right, finally here. I think I have my camera situation figured out. Hopefully. Pray it anyway. Because this is going to be the fifth time five, that I've poured this sink. I've put a lot of epoxy on this sink. But that's fine. As long as I can get my step-by-step -step tutorial, if that's what you want to call it, out to YouTube, the ones that ask me for it, I don't care how much epoxy I have to put on it. That's what I got to do. It's what I got to do. I've already poured it four times. This is going to be my fifth time, so why not make it six or seven? No, I don't want to do that. Anyway. Uh, so since I got my camera situation figured out, sink's ready to go. I had to, uh, I didn't have to, but I went ahead and uh, painted it black again. This time I used paint because, well, I didn't have to use a bonding primer because it's epoxy on epoxy. So I uh, put some gloss black paint on it, and I'm not going to mix no uh color in with my uh, clear epoxy this time I'm gonna pour clear straight on the surface and then I'll use my paint stick or my brush and put paint in it that way or my color in it that way um, to be honest with you I'm still undecided on what color I'm fixing to use I have no idea yet I guess I'll it'll come to me whenever I get over there and start pouring it hopefully that'll won't be some oddball colors um, was thinking about doing a Carrera marble, maybe a Calcutta, but then again, I'd have to paint it white and pour a little, very light gray, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to paint it again. To be honest with you, I'm tired of this sink. I'm ready to get this video done and out on YouTube. And But hey, whatever it takes, I'm going to get it on YouTube. I've had you know, people ask me for it, and if it takes me doing it 10 times to get it to the ones that ask me how I do my sinks, that's what I got to do. If it takes 10 times to do it, that's fine. Another thing, my heater in my shop has stopped working for whatever reason. It stopped about two weeks ago. I should have gotten it fixed then, but... I procrastinate, procrastinate, put it off. Now I'm stuck with cold weather. It's 59, 60 degrees in here right now. Yeah. And I'm going to pour epoxy in that temperature. I sure am. I've had epoxy set up in 55 degree temperatures before. I know you hear everywhere you go on the internet, they say you got to have a 70 degree temperature for it to set up. 70 degrees is an optimal, temp optimal temperature, yes you're right, it is, but it's still going to set up, and when I get done with this, I'll come out here tomorrow, and I'm going to make a little quick clip to show that it's set up, but uh, what else have I got, oh, happy new year, welcome to 2020, hopefully, we won't get bombarded by too many more fireworks around here. They have been letting them things off. It's been sounding like a war zone. So, anyway, let me go around there and get my tripod. I got to extend the legs on it. And uh, we'll get right into pouring this sink. I'm going to give you guys a bird's eye view from above. And you'll be able to see everything I'm doing. And I haven't got my mic working yet, but... Hopefully, you'll be able to hear me pretty good. If not, I'll do a voiceover and we'll go that route. But give me a minute and let me get uh, the camera set up and uh, we'll get to it. Give me just a minute. You guys see okay? All right, let me go get my pox and get it ready and we'll get to it. Okay, guys, sorry about that. We're still recording? Let me check.
Yep, we're still recording. Well, I'm glad I got that camera situation figured out. That was driving me crazy. Anyway, I'm going to mix my epoxy. It's a one to one ratio of hardener and resin. I'm going to mix it for two minutes with a paddle. And make sure you hold on to your mixing container because if not, if your epoxy epoxy's thick, it's going to grab that epoxy. It's going to sling this thing around. And you're going to have epoxy everywhere. I've had it happen. You see little things flying around. It looks like bugs. It's not. It's little teeny tiny micro bubbles coming up out of this epoxy. Okay, let's set that right there. Let me go get me some brown spray paint real quick. I think I'm going to use some brown with my white. For those of you that are wondering, the spray paint I use is Rust-Oleum, the two times ultimate coverage. That works excellent with this epoxy. All right, let me get it out of this container onto my surface. Get me a stick. Scrape all this excess out of this bucket, and I'm gonna mix it right here into this mass that I got out right here because some of this is going to be unmixed. And when that happens, you want to make sure you mix it up with the party epoxy you have here. That way, you won't have no sticky spots. When I started this sink, right here on the edge, all the way to the edge, it had a lip that would hold the epoxy on the surface. It was probably about a quarter of an inch deep. Well, it don't have that lip anymore. I've done poured it so many times trying to get this footage out. But the daggum. Seems like it don't want me to get it out for some reason. Well, good luck not keeping me from doing that because I'm going to get it out. Anyway, I use a brush on the sinks because it's easier to control the epoxy. A lot easier. Make sure you get your sides real good. And if your surface around your work project is clean, you have a reservoir of epoxy down beside your uh, work surface. The bad thing about doing sinks is you, a lot of epoxy tends to go down the drain, literally. And there's, it's, it's going to happen. You can't stop it. All you can do is just, before you add your color and you're spreading your epoxy out, try to keep as much of it up here on top as you can. But once you start, it's, it's going to go down the drain. You ain't going to stop it. I'm going to give it a quick torch to bust some of these bubbles.
that's air. Well, that'll go away. All that epoxy, I mean the air will come to the top of that epoxy. Now this is going to be thick because it's kind of chilly in my workroom, so bear with me. some dark walnut probably not going to show it very good warm caramel Now just take your paint stick and just start going from side to side. Whenever my epoxy's thick like this, I'll take my paint stick and I'll turn it sideways and I'll let it roll the epoxy over on to itself and it'll roll that color together. That's how I get it to do what I want it to do. I can already see I'm going to need some little bit darker up here in the back. Let me get me a little bit real quick. I want this dark walnut. Where is it at? Right here. Give me a little shot right here. Let me throw a little bit of chestnut in there. Put a shot right there. Right there. Just wherever you want to put it. Wherever you think you might need it. That's where you put it. I mean, you don't want it to be exactly uniform or nothing like that because that just, that don't look natural. And just and you don't want to over mix it because if you do it's gonna make one color and that's not what we want at all and then just go back through it and I turn like I said I turn my paint stick a little sour so it'll roll it over onto itself and that's what makes that pretty texture look for me anyway. I 
this point when you get here, if you can, you want to go all the way across with it. See like I'm a little shy on color right here. That's okay, I'm fixing to take care of that. I'm gonna shoot a little color right there. Put a little bit of this warm caramel there. Maybe a shot of this dark walnut right beside it. See what that does for it. I think that looks awesome. I need a little bit of this caramel in the front up here. Or nutmeg, I mean, I'm sorry. Not nutmeg. Caramel, that's what I was going for. A little bit of that dark walnut right on top of it. Don't take a lot. You know, once you do this once, you're going to realize it's really not that hard. You're going to actually be very surprised at how easy it is. Maybe a touch of white. No. See what I do want to do though. I'm going to get a couple lines of black in here. Just a few, not much. Not everywhere, just sporadically. Back here in the back needs it for sure. That looks nice right there. Another one right there. Hey, I'm not going to mess with this too much more because it's a, uh, and when you first start doing it, you can't judge it. You got to let it do its thing. It'll move. It'll meld together. It'll, you know, it'll, it'll all you got to do is just babysit it for a minute or two and it'll do its thing and it'll turn out looking really good for you. Like I said, if your work area around your work project is clean, you got a reservoir of epoxy if you need it. Like right here. Let me see. I need a touch of black over here. Or 
leave my black. Where I think I'm not going to put nothing else on it. Now it's when you want to you want to look it over. Make sure you don't have any spots that look. Well, I don't, they just don't look right to you. I see a couple. And it's going to need a little dark walnut. It's going to need a touch of black. think I'm done. It's just that easy and just that quick. Keep in mind now I have to come back because I've got to do uh, my backsplash. Try to make sure you get your tops back on the right can because you don't want to grab the Wrong can going by the uh, color of the cap and then spray something on your project you don't want. You want to check your sides too. Mine look excellent, to be honest with you. Okay guys, you didn't miss nothing. My video had just reached its recording limit of 31 minutes. So. Anyway, I'm going to get you off this tripod and take you down here and talk about this sink. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let me see if I can get you some close-up shots of this. It's going to be hard to do with this light beaming down on top of us. That's my process. That's how I do it. But I'm not done with it now. I still have to do the backsplash. So, I mean, that's just the way I do it. Everybody don't do it that way. I know I've got a lot of criticism over the way I did it, or the way I did the last one anyway. A lot of people apparently don't like the way I do it. I apologize for the glare from the lights. As soon as I get my little shop built, this is temporary shop I'm in right now. As soon as I get my shop built, or finished right, it's already built, I'll uh, be doing videos in there and I'll have light boxes and everything, the whole nine yards. I think it turned out pretty good. These colors ain't popping like they 
are in real life though this video is not showing how good these colors are popping I mean it is unreal it looks amazing there's that bowl the bowl looks good let me give you a little high shot of it Anyway, like I said, I got to come back in, in here tomorrow and do my backsplash. And I'll be out here tomorrow too because I want to show you guys this will set up in these cool temperatures. It absolutely will. It has for me before. Let me show you the sides. See that? That's perfect coverage on the sides can't really see in the front it's too dark I think it turned out pretty good now you're going to have some waves and the ripples in your color coat you don't look for that to be perfectly smooth. It's not going to be because you introduced a lot of uh, a lot of stuff into the epoxy and it's not going to want to level out all the way for you. But when you put the clear coat on it, that's when it's going to lay out like a sheet of glass. I think it looks so neat how it going down the drain pretty cool I like that I think these colors go together pretty well wish I could get you down and show you some detail without that daggum light glare Jesus aggravating But, uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. If you have any questions, please feel free. Drop them down there. I'll answer them. I think it turned out pretty sweet. Anyway, let me... Let me... Okay, guys. Now... Let me know what you think about the sink in the comments below. Let me know how you think it turned out. Let me know if you think I chose the right colors. Uh, and let me know what you would have done different, if anything. And for those of you that ask for the video, that's my step-by-step -step process. That's how I do it. That's what I think works best for me. Uh... Like I said, I got a lot of backlash the last time I'd done a sink for the way that I'd done it. For whatever reason, I'm, some people, why did you do it that way? You should have done it this way. Well, this is what works for me. That's why I do it this way. And uh, I'm going to continue to do it this way. I still got to do my backsplash, but that's no big deal. I'll do it, and it'll turn out right. Sure will. But anyway, if you guys get any value out of any of my videos, drop me a thumbs up, please. I'm trying to get a little higher in the queue. And uh, thank you to those of you that have recently subscribed. Uh, I'm trying to make this channel into something. One day it will be, I have no doubt, and I'm in it for the long haul. And I thank you for your subscription. And for those of you that are watching and are not subscribed, consider subscribing if I burned it. I uh, would appreciate it. And I got a lot more good videos coming out. I got, I'm going to pick up the video making on my shop that I'm building. I'm going to get on the inside of it. And I'm going to take you through my process of insulating it. Uh, I'm gonna, I gotta finish wiring it first. I'm gonna finish doing that, and I'm gonna, I gotta insulate it, 
I got to drywall it. Uh, and there's going to be some nice stuff going on in there. I know how I'll be up under these bright, well, I'll be up under the bright lights when I'm working, but when I'm filming, I'm going to have the proper lighting. If I can ever get up the money to get the proper gear. It seems like every time I get money saved up for something to do with my video recording, something's always taking it. But I guess that's life. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, if you guys have any ideas, anything you would like to see done, anything you want to see epoxied or any questions about epoxy or any questions about anything in general, just drop them down in the comment section below and I promise you I'll answer them. And uh, I think I'm going to go in a house where it's cool. I mean, I'm sorry, where it's warm because it's cold out here. The temperature is now what is that, 41, 42 degrees in here. And uh, I know what you're thinking. That epoxy is not going to set up. Yeah, it will. You'll see tomorrow. I'll make a video of it tomorrow. I'll come out here and make a little quick minute and a half, two, three minute video. And we'll go over it and we'll we'll talk about it. And uh, Happy New Year, by the way. 2020, here we are. Election year. But uh, with all that being said, thumbs up if I've earned it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Drop me a comment. We'll talk about it. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you ain't already. And uh, make sure to ring the bell. So you'll know when I do have a video coming out. Because they're going to be more frequent now. Uh, I promise you that. And uh, with all that being said. God bless you. And good night. YouTube. Well it's the next day after the pour. And I wanted to show you that it does cure. In that cold of temperature that I poured in last night. Right now it's 60, 65 degrees out here. And here's the sink. And you can see it's not tacky, not sticky nowhere. It turned out real nice. Let's see if I can get you some close ups of it. I can't get too close because of the glare. It's got some pretty good detail in it. If you get down close and look at it, the camera doesn't know justice. Like a river of color. And it just flows right over into the bowl. Look at that. That is so neat. Same way over here. You got a river of color. Let me get you some detail shots. The river of color, then it flows over into the bowl. That is so neat. can't get away from that freaking glare this right here I like the way this design right here turned out Not too bad, eh? Make sure you guys let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And if you guys get any value out of any of my videos, drop me a thumbs up, please. If I've earned it. And hit that subscribe button if I've earned that as well. Don't forget to ring the bell. So you know when I do have a video coming out. I had a little bit of leftover epoxy last night after I uh, stopped recording. And you remember 
the little uh, end table that I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with it and what color I put on it. I just poured a little bit of color on it. Nothing fancy. I just wanted to cover, basically cover up them. Uh, it had that big circle right here in the center. And they had a bunch of uh, grooves going off of it all the way around. So I just basically just filled them grooves up. I don't know if I should leave it this color, change it, or what I should do with it. Drop me a comment below and let me know what you guys think I should do with it. Anyway, back to the main item. Yep, I think it turned out pretty good. And like I said once before, this is the steps that I take to do it for myself. I don't get doing this way from nobody else. I just trial and error. I figured it out on my own how to, the way that worked for me. And that's the way that I started doing it. Let me show you the edge. Color flows over nice. Color flows over real nice. Okay, I'm going to end it here. Like I said, if you guys get any value out of my videos, drop me a thumbs up. It helps me get a little higher in the queue. And if you haven't done so already, get yourself subscribed. Ring the bell so you know when I do put a video out. With that said, I thank you for watching and have a blessed day. Happy New Year.